Hi everyone. Today let's discuss on the VAT setup or sales tax setup. This is a diagram that shows how each setup that we do within the sales tax is interconnected. So then uh, you know uh, th these are the requirements uh, required setup for us to work on the sales tax or the VAT. So we need to create one vendor uh, for this tax settlement. Then we need to create sales tax authority in the tax module. Then we have a sales tax settlement period, basically uh, defining the settlement periods for the tax. Then we have the ledger posting group where we define main accounts. Then you have the sales tax code uh, where we define the percentage. Then we have the sales tax group and the item sales tax group. So let's see how we can configure these things and see how system works for the sales tax setup. So the first thing we required is to create a vendor for tax settlement. So let's go to accounts payable, vendors, all vendors. Here, let's create a new vendor that is required for the tax settlement. So click new. So let's select the vendor group. I have created a vendor group for uh, tax purpose. So I'm selecting that group. Then you can name the vendor save so once the vendor is created let's go for the tax module for the actual tax setup so go to tax click on indirect tax sales tax so the first setup that we need to do is sales tax authorities so click on sales tax authorities click new you can name the authority whatever you want uh, the name and the description so i'll give that authority the same thing that's there in the heading then you select the vendor account this is the vendor that we created in this step one so i'm assigning the vendor here this will be the vendor that used for the tax settlement then you can fill the address and the contact information of the vendor then click save so this is the second step VAT authority. So the next step is go to tax module under indirect tax, sales tax, select sales tax settlement period. So sales tax settlement period is basically defining the period for the tax. Click new. So here give the code sales tax settlement period. Just give the description sales tax settlement period so once the description is done now you see the authority this is the uh, in tax module step one what we did is created an authority so select the drop down and link that authority here so that authority then if you have terms of payment fill the terms of payment that's applicable for the tax window here period interval unit this is where we define. You can define uh, days, months, years. If it's quarterly, we can select months and here we can fill three. So you can define the tax period based on the client requirement. So for an example, I'm taking one. So every month I'm supposed to file a tax and therefore I'm selecting period interval unit as month and here the duration is one. So once you define the period interval unit, the next thing is to add the period. For example, my calendar is from Jan to December, whereas each month is considered as one period. Therefore, I'm defining those periods here. So I'll select Jan 1. That's uh, the starting date and the end date is Jan 30. Rather. So this uh, explains the system that each month is my period intervals. So this is I've added Jan. For the next month, you just click on new period interval. The system based on this and this setup will automatically pick the date. So just click on new period interval. So we see here February is automatically picked. Similarly, pick, uh, I mean, keep selecting until you reach December 30. So this is how we create period intervals. By this, the system will understand this is the period for tax. Click on save. So next, let's go for the next step. The next step is ledger portion group, uh, which is under tax module. Go to setup, then you click on sales tax, select ledger portion group. 
this is where we link main accounts for the tax purpose so click new give the code ledger portion group then you can give the description ledger posting group so once you define there so here what is basic requirement we have sales tax payable sales tax receivable and settlement account these three are mandatory account the other it's based on the business requirement uh, you know if you want to expense of the tax you can use this option if there's any discount you know for vendor or customer you can use this option but these three accounts are mandatory accounts so the tax payable is a liability account tax receivable is an asset account settlement account is again a liability account so right click view details so once we create a main account this is slight uh, adjustments that we need to do here so that's the reason why i am uh, showing the main account setup for the tax so if you go to tax payable here we can see the main account number name once you give this for the sales tax purpose goes to go to posting validation and the posting type should be sales tax so this this needs to be done for all the three accounts that we create tax payable tax settlement tax receivable for all three account the posting type should be sales tax once you create main account go back to this ledger posting group and assign the main accounts so let's select the drop down for tax payable so select tax payable then we need to have tax receivable so tax then assign tax receivable select settlement account select the drop down select tax settlement tax settlement so these three main accounts mandatory main accounts i am linking into in the ledger portion group click save once the posting group setup is done the next step is sales tax code go to tax module go to indirect tax sales tax then you can see sales tax code so in sales tax code click new enter the tax code that's required uh, my i'm taking an example of five percent so what five percent then you can give a name what five percent here assign the settlement period that we created in the previous step select the drop down select settle sales tax settlement period which we created in the previous step again select the ledger portion group that we created in the previous step click save so once you save the sales sales tax code we need to define the values so click on values So this is where we define the percentage select the sales tax code for which we need to define the percentage then from date and to date if there's a date applicable give from date and to date if you if you don't define the date then whenever we pick this sales tax code it will defaultly apply the value and there is no date restrictions so uh, define the value mine is five percent so i'll give value as five now what the non-deductible percentage the uh, let me explain the concept of that if there is a five percent tax applicable for any transaction and within those transaction if certain percentage is not to be paid for the government then we can use the non-deductible for example when i'm posting a uh, education transaction let's say five percent tax is applicable whereas i'm supposed to pay only 60 percent of the value to the government the other 40 percent i need to expense it off if that is the case then you can fill here as 40 that is non-deductible would be 40 the rest 60 percent would be payable to the government so that's how we use non-deductible percentage field Right now, I'm not doing that. Uh, we can see that in the next step. So click save. So the next step is sales tax group. So go to tax module, indirect tax, sales tax, and click sales tax groups. So in sales tax group, click new, give a name for the tax group. 
let me name it as expense so expense group so once we name the sales tax group here under setup we can link all the tax code that we define in the previous step so for example I'll click add here I have created a tax code of 5% I'm linking here so within the same group we can link multiple tax code that you can define for example if I have 5% 2%, 7.5%. So whatever the sales tax code that we define, we can link that here. For any sales tax code, if there's any exemption, then we can select that uh, and uh, you know tick mark this. Then uh, those that particular sales tax code will be exempted. So this is how we link the sales tax code with the sales tax group. Clicks, I mean save. So once we define sales tax group, the next step is item tax group. So go to tax module, indirect tax, sales tax, click on item sales tax group. Click new, define the item tax group, give the group code, description, again under setup, we add the sales tax code that we defined select the drop down and select the tax code that you need to include in this group and click save so this is all the setup that's required for the VAT to work so this is done we are now done with the setup so let's see how we can use the sales tax setup that we have defined in the transaction so uh, we can also default the sales tax group for the vendor so go to accounts payable vendors click on all vendors select the vendor for whom we need to define the sales tax code go to invoice and delivery under invoice and delivery we see an option called sales tax group this is where we can default a particular sales tax group to a vendor so click save to post a transaction, go to Accounts Payable, Invoice, select Invoice Journal. I'm taking Accounts Payable as an example to test the VAT setup that we have done. So click New, select the journal name, go to Lines. So select the window for which the VAT setup is applied. So here for Swisscam, I've defaulted the tax group, select that. Then fill the required details, the invoice date, the invoice number, invoice number. then enter the amount, select the applicable offset account. So once the, uh, in all the required details are filled, on the right side we can see sales tax group. This is the sales tax group that we defaulted in the vendor master data, which is flow here. Then we have created item sales tax group. Select the drop down. Select the item tax group that we created. So once we apply the tax group to see the tax effect, click on sales tax before posting the transaction. So once we click on the sales tax, here we can see amount percent five percent that i created in this setup so here what system has done has taken inclusive amount so when i define the amount it is inclusive of tax system will automatically calculate what is the base amount what is the tax amount within the total this is one way of posting if you want to exclusive that is you give thousand plus tax then while posting the transaction we need to mark this transaction as exclusive. So go back to the journals, go to setup. Here we see an option amount include sales tax. If this is yes, then the total will be inclusive of tax. If this is no, then the total is exclusive of tax. So let me mark this as no. Go back to lines. Here now the amount I've entered is thousand. 
then I have selected the tax groups and then the item sales tax group which is exclusive. So now if you click on sales tax, the system will calculate 1000 plus applicable percentage on the actual sales tax. So this is how we set up the VAT and post the transaction. Hope this, help, this will help you to understand the tax part. That's it for the video. Thank you.